Alrighty, hello everyone, welcome back to another video of mine. This is a commentary and this is Alliance mode on the PC. Um, I realized I hadn't actually recorded any Alliance gameplay at all in my time posting videos to YouTube, so I figured might as well give you some tips and tricks on how to play Alliance. And I'm playing with my buddy Eric. Now, I can't stress enough, Alliance mode is a co-op mode and you need serious teamwork. You, you need to almost be in sync with your, uh, with your teammate. Um, you know, it, it, it relies heavily on teamwork between the two of you um, because, you know, you don't want to get into a situation where your your friend's in trouble and you're not there to save them because you've gone off and done your own thing. So, you know, um, the game does tell you uh, to stick close to your teammate and this particular mode is the reason why you've you've got to be acutely aware of where, the, you know, each one of you is and what you're going to do to maximize your points. And so... With Alliance, it's obviously three teams of two each, um, and everybody's hunting everybody else. So Team 1 hunts Team 2, Team 2 hunts Team 3, Team 3 is hunting Team 1, and you're being pursued in the opposite direction that way. Um, what we normally like to do is uh, try and find where our pursuers are and get them in what's called a stun lock. Um, and especially in this mode, because when if you can stun lock your pursuers, they can't press the um, desync button which is normally Y on the Xbox, Triangle on the PS3, um, and whatever the button is to release a contract on the keyboard, as I've never actually played with the mouse and keyboard, I don't know, so I'm sorry about that, but um, there will be a button that y you see to release a contract, um, and it corresponds to the desync button, and you don't get that option in Alliance, so if you're stunned, you better hope that your teammate's close enough to be able to come and kill the person stunning you, or at least one of the people stunning you, otherwise you're going to get stun locked. And hopefully you should be able to see... Um, I don't think we actually get a decent stun lock in this round, but um, you know we, we're, we're able to get enough stuns that you know you, we get enough points uh, to, to compensate for it. But in essence, what the stun lock is, is, and I've explained it in one of my other videos, if you stun somebody, you can't immediately stun that person as they're getting back up, but you can stun somebody else. So if your teammates stunned one of the other, you know, if you've got two pursuers coming after the both of you, you both stun them, just switch up, you know, with the other person who's on the ground, and then you can stun him immediately as getting up. And so you basically keep them, you know, in, in inverted commas, locked on the ground, and you can just carry on, you know... Uh, pretty much indefinitely unless they leave the game or if they were able to desync if they'd been able to desync then they did that but you know it's it's a great way of getting points I, again a lot of people have said you know or oh, maybe it's cheap or whatever um it's a mechanic that's in game you can stun so you might as well utilize it especially in alliance um where you've got that you know where you've got that unique uh situation where you're not only after somebody but somebody else is after you you might as well utilize it to get points you can get points it's there make the most of it if you can engineer a stun lock so um you notice throughout this whole video myself and eric keep close to each other uh, we were constantly talking we knew exactly what was going on i was unfortunate that he died there but then i get the stun the other person comes in to kill him so i get the kill on him I immediately am entered into a chase, I drop my smoke, and I'm able to get the stun on the second guy, and then he gets killed, and then I can kill the barber. So that was a nice little 30 second um, exchange there, which I got all the points. Uh, normally what would happen is if Eric was still alive, the first doctor I'd stunned, he'd then stun him while I stunned the second one, and we'd keep on going until their pursuers came and killed them, or we were able to kill them first, and then we'll carry on stunning. That's usually the ideal situation for Alliance. Um, it doesn't always work that way, but yeah, what can you do? So you've got a stun here, and I'm immediately going to stand over this guy so that I can get the stun on him. Um, <laughs> I was going to immediately stand over him, but um, I got spooked and thought, okay, I'll charge. But anyway, I was able to get the stun on the guy. Um, Eric kills that uh, barber, and then he's going to stand over that dude. Oh no, he it gets the kill, and then we ran out of time anyway. So that's the first round, and then it switches up in the second round. Um, so yeah, it's still the same sort of thing. It's just, you know, the the pers the people who were pursuing you are now the people you're hunting um, and vice versa. Uh, so you, you get a second round of the same sort of thing. Um, and we've done quite well in the first round. So um, one thing you to note, when, when you start, you can see where your targets are. And in this case, they were on our left-hand side. So we immediately run towards the right because we know our pursuers are going to be coming from there, as you can see there. Um, so that's one way to do it. You can either rush straight for your targets, 
or you can rush straight for your pursuers. If you're confident enough that you can stun lock them, or at least you can get enough stuns um, to justify it, then I'd rush straight for your pursuers. Um, I, I get into a bit of a bad situation here. The guy smokes me to keep me st <laughs> stationary, kills the doctor, and then comes back to uh, stuns the doctor and it comes back to kill me. But it's all good. So yeah, when you immediately start, assess the situation, see where your pursuers are. And see where your targets are. Once you know where your targets are, your pursuers are going to spawn in completely the opposite direction. And usually they're going to be running straight at you. So it's a good idea to then decide with your partner what it is you're going to do. And then you can go from there. We, we you know, In all the Alliance games we played, we went straight for our pursuers so that we could try and stun lock them. And like I said, in this game, it wasn't the greatest game in terms of stun locking. But it was an interesting game in terms of like, you know seeing the tactics that we used, the fact that we stayed close together, we were constantly looking around, constantly seeing what the situation was, um, realizing what we needed to do. Um, I get the smoke there, he gets the stun, the other guy's coming in, I made sure I was able to get the stun there, and then I'm going to go back to the one on the ground if he's still alive, I get the stun on him, and that's basically what we're going to do. Someone smoked and it looked a bit laggy there because he got up out of smoke, and killed me, which is a bit odd. Um, I suspect it was the guy I didn't, um, I'd stunned the second time round. But, you know, we weren't, we weren't raging too much because, you know, we had the lead. Um, um, we weren't really in danger of losing this in any way, shape or form. So as you can see, I've spawned and I'm immediately, you know, I'm communicating with him the whole time. Where are you? Okay, where should we go? So we decided we're going to stay here. Place ourselves in a nice open spot where we can watch all corners and we can see who's coming straight for us. Um, see that red arrow there? That person's done a high profile action in our line of sight. We know he's coming for us. He's intent on killing us. So we were just waiting. Thought we'd bait him. Um, I charge into him, get the stun. And then Eric's going to take over. You see, he's just going to stand over him and mash that B button or whatever button you use. A shift it is on the on the keyboard, I think, to stun. So yeah, we just keep this guy in place till his buddy comes along. Uh, he runs straight into smoke. Um, so I take over. I stun him, and then we're just going to switch it up. And so the other guy is going to get up, and I'm going to stun him until he dies, and then I'll kill that doctor. And you know that really is alliance, and that's why. You need that teamwork. You need to be acutely aware of what's going on at every stage of the game with your teammate. Um, because if you just run off and do your own thing, and your teammate gets trapped by two pursuers, and they know what they're doing, they they're gonna stun lock, and you know they won't hesitate to take those points. And he's just gonna keep on getting up and going down and getting up and going down, and it'll be a frustrating experience. But at least if you're close, you'll probably get at least one kill. Then there's no stun lock uh, situation to be engineered. Um, so yeah, we're just, again, we're hanging around, waiting for our pursuers to hopefully make it to us. Now, one thing to note in Alliance, if you're hanging around and your pursuers don't make it to you in time, um, and you see in the kill feed, um, usually on the left-hand side, that either, you know, they're getting stunned or someone's getting killed, then you, you know you want to then head towards your target. You want to head there because, you know, action's happening and points are, you know, points are being, you know, taken and you're not being a part of it, so... <coughs> Uh, always be aware of what's going on, not only on your screen, but um, in terms of what's happening on the map as well. The kill feed's a great way to see what's going on, uh, especially if you're like us and you wait for um, action to happen or come to you. So, you know, hopefully that's giving you a bit of um, an idea of how to play Alliance. Um, yeah, it's it's a great mode when you've got a good enough teammate uh, to play with that at least you guys understand each other. You don't have to be the greatest players in the world. But understanding and teamwork is key. So anyway, feel free to leave comments. Um, I hope you enjoy the video and I hope this gives you some tips. Look forward to seeing you guys in game. Take care. Bye bye.